Don't say that word. Take 14. <laughs> Let's do this one more time with audio. Hey, sometimes. Okay. This is the I taste variable voltage and variable wattage version three. And I will show you what the difference is between the version three and the version two. The version three brings back the traditional cap that it had, which made it cool to begin with. Uh, so what they changed from the version one to the version two, we'll get into. So it comes with the cap, the device, wrecking my nails, um, showing you how to uh, refill the tank, instructions. This is the standard uh, Anoken zippy cord with a wall wart, that's for charging. instructions in umpteen hundred different languages. Uh, this is the new part of it and which makes it cool. This is called the iClear Tin. It is a one mil tank made for this device. It is square. It also comes with uh, replacement coil spools. I believe three or four, one, two, three, five, five replacements. So it comes with two of the tanks and five replacement dual head, dual coil replacements. So let's put it together and show you what the difference is between the version two and the version three. So, the version 2, you remember the version 1 had a similar um, setup like this. And it had a little um, magnetic adapter that snapped in. Of course, people didn't like that. They wanted to put their own devices on with a, the need of an adapter. So, and it rattled and got in everybody's way. But, it had the nifty little cap, which made it look uber classy, right? So, when they changed to the version 2 and gave you an ego threading, obviously they had to do away with the cap because once you put an ego threaded thing on there, the cap would not fit. So, the second version, no cap. So, version 3, we're going back to the cap. And we, now this will, it's still a 510 thread. So if you want to put um, a clear miser, an ego thread, anything, you just stick uh, an adapter on there and it'll work. But this will not go on, obviously. So it's still a variable voltage, variable wattage. It is slightly uh, less tall. Um, it, the top is squared off to accommodate the cap, but it still works in the same way as all the other versions in that it has a pop counter that nobody uses. It uh, changes from very, from wattage to, um, to voltage by holding down either the top, the plus or the minus and the power key. from power to, come on, oh, actually it's the down one that does it, there. So, it works the same except for the style. These little clearmizers tanks are very cool. My fingers are not working today. They fit nice, they line up perfectly. They hold one mil of juice and uh, if you see the top here has two little O-rings. 
Or do you still call them O-rings when they're square? I don't know. They fill from the top. You just give it a little wiggle, pull it out. Pretty simple, pretty easy. The only thing you're going to miss out on is your own drip tips. But you know what? You deal. So once it's all together, and snap the top, top on, look at that. How classy looking is that? You throw that in your person, nobody's going to say, why are you carrying an e-cigarette? You go, go completely incognito because they think that was, I don't know, mascara or something. So really nice. Um, I think I might keep this one for myself. Because <laughs> you know, I need this. Like, you know, a whole med. But it is pretty. Um, they come in the same colors as, you know, all the items come in. Um, I got a white one and a black one. I think I'll keep the white one. But we'll show you how it vapes. So, how does it vape? Well, I have been using this. Uh, I have a smoky one that came with the black kit. And it's a dual coil, so you're still getting um, the Anakin experience, or Anokin, however you want to say it. Um, you will find it's an airier draw. I'm not quite sure how to deal with that. This is a little bit wiggly like a tiny bit wiggly, but nothing you would notice in the general vaping of it. This is on, I think, 4.2 or something like that. These are two ohms um, that come with the kit, and I believe you can get them lower, uh, low resistance as well. A, a really nice, um, if you like the iClear 16s and you like the iClear 30s, you will like the iClear 10. It's the exact same head. Um, this might be smaller, so I'll have to, um, have to, uh, have a look at them. But exchanging the heads is just a matter of taking the drip tip off, unscrewing it. And I have to say, it looks exactly the same. So, here's the issue. <laughs> Getting them back in, you're gonna, it's just going to be a little more fiddly. Because you're going against the, uh, the wigs. But as you can see, I didn't have much issue. So it does vape well. It looks good. It feels good. fan's still going here, so you can't see a lot of the vapor, but believe me, there's a lot of vapor. Although it's an airy draw, um, and it is a tiny bit wiggly, you won't notice it as, you, the only way you're going to notice it is if you do this. And if you do that a lot, I don't understand. Because you don't feel it when you're doing it. When you're, fuck. Don't say that one. Sorry. Almost got through a hole. Round of videos without hearing from me. So yeah, vapes well, looks great, classy little device. Anokin uh, really doesn't disappoint. Um, they have a great line of products, and I've enjoyed every one of them. Oh, boy.